Hi there, reception superstars. So the work you've been sending us this week has been amazing. And all of your teachers agree. You know, you're getting really confident with this home learning thing, and we think that you're ready to take it to the next level. Are you ready to do your maths warm up? Come on over and see what I've got for you. You need to stand up for this activity and say the numbers in order while you're marching. Here we go. Let's get started with some counting. Are you marching? Which numbers do you see? Can you count to 20? Get ready. Here we go. Marching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That was fun. That really was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Now get ready because we're going to play some number ping pong. Do you remember what to do? I'm going to say a number and you're going to say the next number that is one more. Ready? Just like this. It goes three, four, five, six. Just like that. Your turn. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and 10. Well done. Do you know you did really well with that? I think we're ready to try backwards. Remember, you're going to say the number that is one less every time. Ready? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Well done, everyone. Perhaps you'll be able to play that game today with your grown-ups at home. Or maybe you'll phone a friend and play it with them instead. Have fun with that. So what did we do yesterday? Well, we practised our number bonds. We practised putting numbers together to make six. We used addition. When we add, we put amounts together to make more just like with this. I have four, I have two. We're putting together, we're adding. Four add two, all together make six. Now, come and have a look at my number line because I've got something important to ask you. What do you think happens to a number on the number line when we do adding? Here is my fireman. Are you ready? He's standing on my number line. He's going to do our number sentence with us. Four add two. Will he go forward or will he go backwards? Four add one, two means we have six. Did my fireman go forward or backwards? But I wonder what happens when we take away will we still go forward on the number line? So taking away just means that the amount starts off big, but then it gets smaller. It becomes less. We're taking away, it's gone. Let's have a think about this with my blocks. I have six blocks. How do we know? We check. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to take away two. We're taking away it's gone. What am I left with? Did you say four? Let's count and check. One, two, three, four. But is four more or less than six? That's right, it's less. So what do you think will happen 
to the numbers on the number line. If we're doing take away, we have to go backwards because the number is getting less. And that's going to be your learning focus today. You're going to practice taking away on a number line. So the first thing everybody needs to do is make yourself some number cards. I've made them nice and big here. Make sure you write numbers all the way from zero to six. I wonder, will you be able to lay them out on the floor in the right order and tell the grown-ups around you how you know that they go wherever you put them? So I'm going to have a go at putting all of my number cards in the right order. Now I know zero is the number that goes at the bottom. Um, four is going in the middle. One less than four is three. And the greatest is six. Yay! I think I've done it. So when you set out all the numbers in your number line, it's time to try the comfort task. You need to practice taking away one every time. But remember, if you're taking away, that means you go backwards on the number line. You go less, less, less. But if you're adding, you go forward. Okay, I'm going to give the comfort task a go. I'm going to do adding first. One more than one is two. One more than four is five. I'm walking forwards, I'm adding. Taking away, I'm going backwards. One less than three is two. One less than two is one. Yay, I've done it. <laughs> I bet that's going to be a lot of fun moving forwards and backwards on the number line, practicing your adding and taking away. If you're ready to go into the challenge task, then you need to practice other amounts that you can take away within six. For example, I have six bricks. I'm going to take two away. So I take two steps back and it's gone. How many have I got left? Can you say the answer? Can you prove it? better yet can you draw it if your confidence is still on fire after all of that perhaps you can get a grown-up to read out some of our word problems to you maybe they might even make up some special new ones just for you so if you're in the danger zone have a read of our word problems and try to solve them prove your answer <laughs> 